So let's say that you want to give your Blender model a collider in Godot, but you can't do that because this engine does not support active collision. What you could do is to create a single convex collision sibling for the mesh, but as its name says, this won't copy the model's topology at all. But don't worry, Joelty is here with Dorknap Game Studio, and in this video I will show you how to export collision from Blender to Godot 4.3. The first thing to do is to open your Blender project. As you can see, I will demonstrate this with one of my house models that I made for my game. The first thing is to head into object mode, select the mesh, and duplicate it. Rename the copy, and this is very important, something like cube, negative sign, call only. What this does is when you export the model to Godot, the engine will recognize it as a static body with a collision shape. So we will do that, click on file, export GLTF and select your game folder. And now when you open up Godot, you can see that our model got successfully exported to the project with a collision which has the same shape as our model. The only thing left is to change the parent's node's type to mesh instance, then we can save the scene. After that we can place the house in our world scene and run the game. But now, if I try to collide with the house, something is wrong, because I can walk into the model, but I can't get out. It's like the whole collision would be turned inside out. Well, I don't know why this happens, but thankfully I know how to solve it. So head into the model scene, click on the collision shape and under the scroll menu, click on make unique. Then under the concave polygon tab, turn on the backface collision. And now when we finally run the game, you can finally collide with the house. I really hope that I could help, I only encountered with this bug with the newer versions of Godot. And don't worry, the new rough source devlog is coming soon, the next steps are NPCs. Love you all, subscribe.